I'm going to tell you all a story about black walnuts. I bought this house in 2015. I always knew this is a black walnut. It's never once ever produced a single nut ever. Now, I knew it was a black walnut, but I don't know why it didn't produce any nuts. And this year, it's got an abundance of nuts. This is a four by eight cart. The sides are about, I don't know, 24 inches tall. There's a uh, single deep beehive box there in the front, but for the most part, it's three quarters of the way full. I still got a lot more walnuts to pick up yet. But let me tell you a story. When I was younger, at an impressionable age of about 20 or 21, me and my girlfriend used to go spend the winters at her grandma and grandpa's. That man was one of the smartest people I've ever known to this day when it comes to like seasonal changes and homestead information and stuff like that. So I wanted to learn everything that man knew. Leighton Doyle is his name, by the way. He passed away some years ago. But um, that's kind of besides the point. I'm going to tell you a story that he taught me how to do everything by the season. Instead of doing it by like when you think it needs done, you just do what nature tells you to do. So we had this like thing that we did where we would generally start turkey hunting and then we'd pick up walnuts and then we'd go cut wood for the winter because they only heated with wood stove uh, in the house that he hand built after he got out of the military. And anyways, we were like the second or third year that we were out picking up walnuts. He said, uh, we need to cut a couple extra loads of wood this year. And I was like, why is that? And he goes, it's going to be a bad winter. And I said, how do you know it's going to be a bad winter? And he said, you can tell how bad the winter will be by the number of walnuts that fall from the tree. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of thought he was crazy. I really was like, eh, I don't know what's gotten into him today, but. We'll cut a couple more loads of wood, which we did. We picked up walnuts. We picked up a lot of walnuts. Then we went and cut extra wood that year. Probably three or four extra cords of wood. And that winter was one of the craziest winters ever for snowfall in this area. I think that was the winter in 92 and 93. Might have been the winter 93, 94. My memory's not that good from the cancer. And then plus it was a long time ago. I don't really remember what year it was. But it was an insane amount of snow that fell. So anyways, like the next year, I'd already forgotten about that conversation by then. But the next year we're out picking up walnuts. He's like, we probably already got enough wood in for this winter. And I was like, how do you know that? And he says, you can tell how bad the winter will be by the number of walnuts that fall from the tree. Now, you got to remember, this is something that he was telling me just about every year, but it kind of took a couple of times for him to say that to me before it finally stuck. And now it's kind of like stuck. So why is that important? Well, this tree... <laughs> Right here, this walnut tree that I've known was a walnut has never produced nuts ever in eight years that I've lived here. And now it's got this huge amount. I ain't even got out into the woods yet. I'm just out here right now recording this video, talking to you guys and seeing the ones that I haven't already picked up out here where the grass is short and they're easy to see. But kind of what I'm getting at is this nut tree produce an insane number of walnuts and while i'm out here picking these walnuts up guess what happened you can tell how bad the winter will be by the amount of walnuts that fall from the tree now i'm not the only one saying that this year if you google search black walnut harvest 2023 you will see everybody is reporting a higher number of black walnuts on the ground this year 
So that's not just me saying that to try to scare anybody. That's me telling you that's the way it is everywhere. Now, a lot of people are probably going to say something like, well, it's probably because of that mild spring we had. And there could be some truth to that. You all are going to let me know come spring if it was a mild winter whether or not my prediction is true or not so uh anyways i literally tried to soak up everything this man said because time and time again his little quirky things he would say as i got older they started to make a whole lot of sense like i didn't fully understand them back then but again as i got older they just started to make sense like this guy really knew what the heck he was talking about. And, uh, man, I wish, like, I wish he was still alive. I'd, I'd love to just sit down and talk to him for four or five years straight. <laughs> like, he was just one of those people, just really soft-spoken. He didn't really ever have, like, a lot to say, like, about what you were doing. But he would want to teach you stuff that I found out later in life really was true like that was the way it was and you know i was at that age where you don't really you know when you're in your 20s you think you know everything but i later found out i didn't know crap and uh anyways so that's what i'm doing out here picking up walnuts generally when you're picking up walnuts you'd be wearing gloves and i actually was wearing gloves up until i started recording this uh, because a lot of these really aren't like these black ones would break open really easy. You, you get that in all of your hands. You can kind of see my hands are kind of stained a little bit yellow. But it's not been that bad. Actually, you can see the gloves right here. One of them. Both of them. Sticking out of my pocket. I took them off to do this video because you can't really do a video while you're wearing gloves. you got to press the play and a pause and all that crap. So when you're picking these up though, let me give you some tips. Like, see that crack that's in that one? You don't want that one. If it's got a wormhole or a crack, you don't want it. It can be brown like this, no problem. As long as it's not cracked, and as long as it don't have a wormhole, that's a good nut. You basically pick it up, you wait, wait on this to turn black, which softens the shell up. So I'm putting them in this cart, where I'll give them a couple weeks to finish, turn them black, then we'll get those old husk off of there. And uh, kind of what I'm getting at is, when you're 19 or 20, you just think you know everything. You don't really know crap. <laughs> Your mind thinks you know everything, but you really don't. So, I really enjoyed the time I got to spend with that man because he taught me so much about homesteading that I would use later in life simply because that's the life they lived every day and uh yeah so i got to i got to uh i got to learn a lot from him and every now and then even though i have bad memory from the chemo and radiation every now and then one of those things he would say will pop back in my head. And I always know, even though like I have memory problems, I always know where it come from because he would be the only person that would say something like that. <laughs> I think we're I think we're getting down to just about pick most of them up now. So what happens is that tree actually leans out. You can kind of see it there tree kind of leans out so most of the nuts fell up there and there's some that obviously rolled down the hill back down into this area of course i'm going to check them that one there's a bad one see how it's got the damaged husk if it's got a damaged husk what happens is the bugs will get into the nut and actually eat into the nut or if it's got a worm hole a worm's already moved in there there won't be any nut It'd just be a waste of time to process that nut. There's probably still a bunch out here too because the other thing is, a lot of the times out here this grass is a little bit taller 
and what happens is you can't really see it until you step on it like that one just stepped on it felt it roll underneath my foot there's probably a lot of those out here yeah they could be out another couple of feet yeah there's one right here but yeah for a uh, uh that one's bad for a tree that's never there's one right here i just stepped on for a tree that's never produced any nuts this thing's just got a boatload of them this year that one's actually good there's gosh there's like four or five right here i just stepped on now i squashed this one but the shell looks okay otherwise i'm gonna keep it i squashed this one but the husk looks okay otherwise see they're just literally out here everywhere but when you when you bust them open inside where the nuts at where you actually get more to like the walnut with the walnut shell what you what you're waiting on though you're waiting on this to turn black so it gets softened up like this and then this peel the outer husk peels off really easy and then you're left with the nut on the inside now it will stain your fingers so make sure that you wear gloves when you're actually processing these nuts or you're going to regret it i mean we used to do it back in the day the stain will last about a good week i don't care what kind of soap you use So there probably is a lot out here that I've missed. <laughs> One, I don't know if you can tell it or not, it's actually pouring down rain. Ah, that one's probably bad. So... I just wanted to share that story with you that uh, you know you kind of need to listen to what other people have to say older people you don't realize that when you're younger but as you get older you start to realize that the things that they were saying all along were true and uh, that's really what this video was about plus I'm 12 minutes into this video so I'll go ahead and let y'all go anyways don't forget that saying you can tell how bad the winter will be by the number of walnuts that fall from the tree. Collect them all, you might need to eat them.